This is a quick review of the GSCI Commodity Index. That's GSG is the symbol. I reviewed this some time ago talking about the fact that I thought there was going to be some weakness coming up and then setting up a period where commodities have a strong upside move. I want to review that really quickly for you. And what's really interesting about this analysis is that it gives you a great sense about how to look at cycle analysis in ways that just are not all that simple and that may actually be uh, confusing for many people. But in this case, it really, I think, breaks it down in a way uh, that makes a ton of sense. So I think you'll enjoy this and you'll see why I believe that uh, even though commodities are weaker right now uh, and the inflation numbers are coming down, uh, when we get into a period of lower interest rates, it usually can feed an upside uh, move in the commodity markets. And uh, that, of course, could be a period where the inflation numbers don't look all that good. So I thought it was important to look at. And uh, this is going to be some very interesting analysis for you. If you are brand new to Ask Slim, please do go to our website, AskSlim.com, and sign up to get our free daily information on the S&P 500. Just put in your name, email address, no credit card necessary, and you're going to get our updated information on the S&P 500 every single day, and you'll get a good idea about how we approach analysis in the markets. We do look at 24 different indexes and futures contracts and well over 400 widely held stocks. Great information. Sign up, get acquainted with us, and do that for free. You see, this uh, are uh, our charts on the GSCI Commodity uh, Trust. On the left here, I have weekly, and on the day here, on the right, I have the daily. I'm going to blow this up so that you could see the weekly first and see what we're looking at. And you could see the repeating cyclical rhythms in here that are just absolutely beautiful. If I go out a little bit further out, uh, you can see how they align right over here. And uh, each of these on the bottom are the ideal cycle rhythms, money coming in, money coming out. When it's rallying and our uh, reversal scout is really positive, you get these strong configurations in the cycles. This one bottomed right over here after a triangle, triangular uh, uh, shape that was the consolidation. That said, you're going to move to a new high, and it did. But then once it breaks down underneath this cycle level, and it did it very early, that's called a left-hand translation right in there. And what that sets up is a declining market and it actually had two cycles one and two where it moved to the downside here then it made this basing cycle where this low was a little bit higher than this low and that said well the market's likely to be stronger and you could see it came up here and tested this high so this is very interesting because now what we see is a condition that is a very strongly configured cycle pattern where the low right over here and the potential low right over here are quite different. This is much higher and that sets up a period of strength over here for commodities out in here in this July to September period. Now we thought that there would be some choppiness and weakness over here which we're getting and when we look at some of the commodity prices um, we can see that we expect oil to be moving lower. We think that silver and gold uh, and all of the metals are in uh, periods of correction that should take them out into July or August. And that's this corrective period right over here. But then you get into this really strong period out over here, where it's pretty likely that you're going to get up and test these higher levels up there. So this is a uh, quite a bullish overall longer term pattern that we're looking at in this commodity index. And it says don't be fooled by what might be a weaker period right now in the commodity markets. They're likely to be moving up pretty sharply later in the year. Now let's examine the daily chart that's looking at this period right in here. This is really very interesting because this is these are out of phase cycles. Now this is uh, not unusual because there are a multitude of cycles in every uh, chart. This one has our momentum indicator here in the slim ribbon, the slim ribbon PO on the bottom. And the slim ribbon PO, that's a level four indicator at asslim.com. And uh, when you get these arrows here, it gives you momentum resumption signals on the upside. 
uh, and that's uh, bullish when it turns red it's negative and we're still in a negative condition right now and likely to give us a downside arrow soon so if you look at these cycle brackets right over here you could see the black cycle right there how that lines up just beautifully right there and then out of phase cycle in this blue dotted one right over here and you could see that's actually shaped beautifully also and right now where we are is this cycle is rising and it seems to be more dominant and this cycle here is in a downside movement here and that's likely when this declining uh, uh, period or phase in the cycle comes we'll get into a declining market so it could be coming down and testing the low I don't have it draw I have it drawn not quite as deep but certainly these could be come down and testing this area right over here in this time frame and then it would give you the stronger rally right over there so this is probably a choppy period and a period where there's a high risk of it coming down and testing that low back on the weekly chart you can see where that would be there uh, at the 50 percent support at around 21 and a quarter so that's right over here around 21 and a quarter on the daily chart both of these cycles will be coming down into the july time frame and that's a period where you're likely to get a decline coming right over there uh, and uh, then after that they will both be rising in line with what we see on the weekly chart right over here beginning in that July time frame and this is multiple time frame analysis using cycles and support resistance momentum conditions and momentum negative here on the weekly momentum negative here on the daily uh, moving up to resistance it all says that we're likely to see a downside move here in the commodity markets over this next month but then setting up this period of strength that you see right in here and that uh, would be uh, into July through September where we could see some pretty good upside moves in the commodity markets and a likelihood that there uh, is uh, going to be uh, another uh, sign of inflation coming back uh, as the uh, producer prices and input costs begin to go up in that third quarter of this year that's it make sure you read uh, more information about uh, our analysis uh, the type of analysis what we that we do and the importance of you uh, using trade ownership in other words you have to own your own trades uh, when you use analysis from us or from anybody else out there thanks a lot for watching well, I'm going to the city, and I'm going to do a city show.